Yes, how are you? How are you? Good, good. Welcome. How do you feel KMC Football Club? Ah, alhamdulillah, it's good. We're working hard. Things are good. We're back home. We have a tough game tomorrow, so all is good. I tell you what to know. You, because I say thanks to go to take all three points against Tanzania Prison. How do you feel? Ah, very good. You know, it's never easy to go away to, to Mbeya. You know, Tanzania Prison is a very strong team at home. So for us to go there and, and fight for three points was very good. And uh, the players have done very good uh, work to, to, to take those three points. So now it's in the bag. Now our concentration is for tomorrow's game. Namungo is a very big team, very good players, experienced players. Uh, and they have a good coach now uh, in Juma. So we need to be very careful. We need to be at our best. I know Juma Ah, Pep Guardiola. <laughs> but I want to know the situation here of KMC. Yeah. According to going to play, we see Namungo. No, our, our our preparation is to 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 play like we play always at home, yeah. to to dominate with possession, to make the opponents run a lot um, and chase the ball, and to to be very clinical in the box. I think that's where our biggest improvement needs to happen in in the attacking box. We need to be more clinical, finish our chances, um, and and create. Uh, we create goal scoring opportunities, but we don't score goals, many goals. So we need to f we need to make that right. We need to take care of the chances that we're creating, con convert them to goals, and the, the goals will help us to win the game. Sariboko will be started in the game against Tanzania Prison. Will be started two goals. How you explain Sariboko? Ah, uh, Sariboko is a very good player. You know, he's a very good uh, teammate. Um, He's a player that works hard every day. He, he waits for his chance. Um, he's, he's had a little bit of uh, disturbance with small injuries at the beginning of the season, but now he's fresh, alhamdulillah. So now we, we look for him to push the momentum. We look for him to be more, more uh, contribute more to, to, to the team, uh, like he did last game. So um, now he's healthy enough to push for, for, for the team. You have any player be missed? Yes, tomorrow, tomorrow uh, we have suspension. Ibra uh, serving his last game suspension. Um, Andrew Vincent is injured. Um, also, we have uh, Abdallah is out with the national team. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I, everyone else is okay for tomorrow. You have any problem for missing that? Is that, a pro is that a problem? Yeah, of course. Look, we, 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 we've been missing players from the beginning of the season. You know, people, people don't look at these kind of things, but they impact the, the performance, you know, from, from national team call ups, from injuries. We've had it from the beginning of the season. So. I tell the players, hey, we have to. Someone has to step in, and someone has to do the job. If if one player is missing, the other one has to take the job. So I think the players do a good job in, the, in that, and I have no doubt they will do tomorrow so as well. You want to know opin any opinion for coach? How will you feel on the NBC Premier League this season so far? Ah, oh, tough. You know, the league is very tough. All the teams are are um, fighting, and uh, they're making the games difficult. You you see how how this league. Uh, the number of goals is becoming smaller and smaller. The teams are getting more tough, more organized defensively. Um, so it's not easy as, uh, you know, you can come in every game and score as many goals as you want. Teams are making it difficult. So it's good for the league. It's pushing us as coaches also to, to come up with good ideas, good ways to approach the games. Um, tactically, the league is much, much better now than, than, than it was before. So, but it's entertaining for the fans and it's good games for the fans to watch. What is a good moment? On KLC? Um, this season? Yeah. So far, I think, um, to be honest with you, uh, I've, I've had a lot of good moments. You know, um, even some games that we lose, I'm very proud of the players. Like, for example, against Yanga, we, I was so proud of the effort the players gave for, uh, you know, that for, we conceded an early goal, but for 80 plus minutes, we played so good and, and, uh, and it's not easy to play against young guy in front of the, the crowd like this, you know, these kind of games, too much pressure. But the players did very well to handle that pressure and they showed a level of maturity that, that if we continue to, to grow like that, I think we can be a very good team in this league. And sad moment? Saddest moment? To be honest with you, I think it was uh, away to Fountain Gate. Um, I was sad not, not because of my players, I was sad because of what Fountain Gate did at the end of the game. We had red cards, injuries, we finished the game with nine players and they were doing unsportsman uh, behavior, uh, the goalkeeper and the other players in their, in their, near their goal. It's not right, you know, you have to respect your opponent, you have to respect football and what they did was not nice. I wouldn't do that to them and I, I will never allow my players to do something like that because I respect football too much, I respect uh, my opponents too much. 
but it is what it is. You know, I can't control these things. <laughs> what is the objective of KMC on this season? To be the best team that we can be. You know, last season we finished number five. That's finished. This season now, how can we go and push and how can we be the best team that we can be, regardless of where we finish? You know, our ambition, hopefully, inshallah, is to finish in the top four. But that needs a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of commitment. So we need to push to the maximum every game. Speak with the KMC according to tomorrow games. Tomorrow we'll fight, inshallah. I want the fans to come, help us, give us the uh, extra energy that we need. It's not going to be easy, but I can promise you we will, be, we will fight uh, all 90 minutes to, to take the three points, inshallah. Thanks. Consistency? I think that's a good question. I think that's something we, we always talk about with this group. You know, they're young and I talk about consistency, not as a collective, but also individually. You know, we need to be, more, we need to be at a higher level every game. You know, um, we can't be within the game. Sometimes you'll see a lack of consistency in terms of our performance. Um, but I think that's the missing, missing puzzle for our team, the missing pieces. How can we be consistently, you know, at the same level? We don't have to be consistently 100%. But consistently 80% is better than, you know, being at 90, 75, 60, this is not good. So I think that's the next step for our, our, our development as a team, our growth. And we need to find a way to be more consistent. And, and I think right now we're on the right track um, in terms of results. Three of the last two games we won. If we win tomorrow, inshallah, it will be four, three of the last four. Then we gain a little bit of momentum and we, we, we push forward together. Our, to be the best team that we can be, you know, to challenge for our 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 ambition is to finish in the top four. Um, but the overall ambition is to be in in better shape than we were last season. So if that means to finish top four, we can finish five. But we have to be the best, and we have to push ourselves, challenge ourselves, and we have to, you know, it's it's not going to be easy. You know, the league is very tough. There are four or five teams now that are really really good in this league. So we need to be amongst those five. Uh, or six teams and we need to challenge for the for the, for the for the best finish that we can inshallah